So it's super important to me that the cake looks and tastes just as good. When you first look at the cake, I want you to feel like, oh my God, what is this? This is amazing. But then when you eat it, I want you to be like, oh my God, this is even better than I thought. Because you know, there's like a cliche that cakes don't taste good, especially when they look pretty. So I definitely want to debunk that and just have you remember how good cake is. I'm Justin Allen, I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Passaic, New Jersey. I'm a cake artist and entrepreneur, and last year I grossed 100,000 in sales. This year we're expected to gross 200,000. So I chose baking as a profession because it just really allowed me to unleash my creativity because I'm a very creative person and it's just a great way to portray it. And also I just love to like eat, and especially desserts. I'm a huge sweet tooth, so I can eat my own creations. Pricing cakes is different for everyone. The first thing you need to know is custom cakes are expensive. Cakes really range based on design and like size of cake. So our smallest cake is a six inch cake and that feeds 10 to 12 people. And those start at like 160, but it can really go way higher depending on what they're asking for. The most expensive cake that I did is a wedding cake coming up this August actually. And I quoted them for 35.75. It's not done yet, but it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be epic and very detailed. So I used to bake with my mom and my grandma for the holidays, like Thanksgiving, and we would make everything from pies to cookies to bread, anything to think of was on the table. And eventually I got interested into cakes from YouTube and she really sparked my interest. I just got into the kitchen and made mess. It would be like in middle school, high school, I would just keep on practicing, practicing, and they would actually come out really good and I enjoyed it too. I graduated high school in 2021. I didn't go to college. I just felt like it wasn't for me. So currently we only do custom cakes. That's what I'm passionate about mostly. I currently don't have any other staff besides my family members. They work for me. <laughs> my mom, she helps like pretty much anything I need. She's like the assistant manager, whether it's food shopping, sometimes she'll bake my cakes for me, deliveries, cleaning, anything. My dad, he'll often do the deliveries also for me, especially the big ones. My younger sister, she does my social media, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff, especially editing content, that's huge. And then my older sister, she does graphic designing, so whether it's a logo, our website, anything like that. So our customer base is pretty large. I have some people coming from PA, I have some people driving hours and hours just for a cake, but most of our customers, I would say, are in New Jersey, Northern. So some events I do are baby showers, graduations, weddings, sweet 16s, birthdays, anniversaries, pretty much any event you need a cake for, we do it. Inquiries come from my website, everythingjustbake.com. That's where clients inquire. I have like a whole form that asks for their date, what you're looking for, the theme. And oftentimes they upload an inspiration photo. Some people want like a Batman car. Someone wanted a six foot lion. Some people think it's like shop rate, like they're really expensive. The problem is they don't always have the budget. <laughs> So legally, you can't really sell cakes from your home, so we rent a commercial kitchen in Fairfield. Basically, a commercial kitchen is just separate from your home, and it has all commercial appliances, and it's just way more safe sanitation purposes, and it just provides like a healthier environment. The most expensive thing in running an operation is definitely renting out the commercial kitchen, memberships like Costco, your website, and then just ingredients, of course, because you always gotta restock the flour, the sugar, eggs, and butter. So inflation's crazy for everyone. Like I hate buying butter right now. It's, it's expensive and it's annoying. Flour, for instance, like I used to pay like $10 for like a 50 pound bag. Now it's like over $20 for the same size bag. Eggs, really insane. So I'm constantly going to all different food stores to find the best prices. In terms of marketing, really it's just social media based and word of mouth. Referrals are a huge way of getting business. That's how a lot of my customers come from. And I create like a loyal fan base almost. So I have a lot of loyal customers. I work pretty much every day. I try to take off Mondays. Friday, Saturday, Sundays are busy days. Usually our minimum is like six cakes a week, but the most I've done is probably like 19 cakes a week. I died that weekend. Sometimes my best ideas come in the shower. I love to take a hot, long shower, and it just really just like comes to me just very naturally. I just stick with the idea. I usually sketch it like with paper and pen, but I'm a terrible drawer. Like terrible, like my birds are bees. Like that's how bad of a drawer I am. So other people can't visualize my sketches. So then I use Procreate, which is an app that's much easier to use and other people can visualize it.
So next year, I'm expecting to at least double our expected gross income of 200,000 this year, especially because we're opening up the bakery, so it should give me more exposure. And in three to five years, I hope to have a successful storefront and possibly opening up my second one, maybe a franchise. One of the reasons why I love my job is I'm able to be a part of other people's memories. So like my cake was something memorable for someone else. I know a customer satisfied with their cake is first of all, their first reaction when like they pick up the cake or they see the cake, they're always like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe this is my cake or something like that. Usually like the day after they send me a text or like an email saying like, thank you so much for doing this cake. My son loved it. You made my wedding day more memorable. And it's really like heart touching, you know? I became a part of their memory.